Today in our 2010 Honda Accord, we'll be installing the Kurt Hitch, part number C11496. This is what our hitch will look like once installed. Next, we're going to give you a couple measurements to assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is four and a half inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is 11 and a half inches. This will assist you with selecting accessories such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. Now we'll go ahead with installation. We can go ahead and point out all the attachment points for this hitch. There'll be a total of three attachment points, one in each frame rail, pre-drilled holes by the manufacturer, and the third will be the tow hook in the center of the vehicle. To begin our install, we'll first need to lower the exhaust. To safely lower the exhaust, we'll put a safety strap underneath that will help control the weight once we remove the rubber isolators. There are a total of three rubber isolators to remove from the metal hangers. To remove the rubber isolators from metal hangers, we'll spray each one with some spray lubricant and then use a pry bar, pliers, or exhaust hangover removal tool. Now with all three rubber isolators removed, we'll go ahead and use the safety strap to safely lower the weight of the exhaust. Next, we'll need to remove the heat shield above the muffler. This application only has one muffler, so we'll only be removing one heat shield here on the passenger side. To remove it, we'll need to remove the four fasteners that secure it into position. Once we remove the four fasteners, we'll go ahead and pull them down, set them aside for installation later. While I have the heat shield out, we'll go ahead and take a paint marker and mark the area that will need to be trimmed as per the instructions to allow for the new hardware and hitch to fit. Now that we have the width marked, we'll go ahead and move over to the bench, mark the entire length, and then using a rotary cutoff tool, cut out the heat shield. Once the section's cut out, we'll go ahead and set it aside for reinstallation later. Our attachment hardware will be the new 11 16 carriage bolt and block along with 11 16 flange nut for our frame attachment points and the 3 8 U-bolt and flange nuts for our tow hook attachment point. However, before we can get our hardware into the frame, we'll need to open up the access hole. As you can see, the spacer block will not fit. Using a round file and a drill, we'll go ahead and make out a section large enough to fit our spacer block in place. Now that we know our spacer block will fit, we'll go ahead and take the pull wire, feed it through the attachment point and out the access hole. There we can slide on the block and thread on the carriage bolt. We'll feed the block into the frame first, followed by the carriage bolt, and then pull them both into position. We'll go ahead and leave the pull wire on as it will assist in getting our hitch into position without pushing our hardware back up into the frame. Next, we'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the passenger side. Now with our frame hardware in place, we'll go ahead and put the U-bolt over the tow hook and now we're ready to put our hitch in place. It's a good idea to get an extra hands to help you hold the hitch while you install the fasteners. As we bring the hitch up into place, we'll take the pull wire, feed it through the frame attachment points of the hitch and then bring the hitch tight to the frame. We can go ahead and remove the pull wire and then install our fasteners finger tight until we have them all in place. Once they're all in place, we'll go ahead and tighten them down. And then torque the specifications as indicated instructions. Now with our hitch secured and torque specifications, we're ready to reinstall the heat shield and exhaust.
Now with our exhaust back in place, this will complete the install of our Kurt Hitch part number C11496 on our 2010 Honda Accord.